Nice day today at Bush Gardens. Definitely enjoying the food and wine and the beer. Hey guys, today we're heading to Bush Gardens. That's right, it's kind of gray out today, so hopefully it won't be too hot and we won't get too sunburned. There's Ayanguazi, be open soon, hopefully. There's a map legend for the Food and Wine Festival. A QR code right here. We're gonna try the All American Eats Pavilion. We're gonna try the bison slider and the brisket pub chips. The brisket pub chip. Hey, good. <laughs> bison slider with bacon and onion jam. <laughs> yeah, I really like that. Good stuff. Pretty tasty, right? Definitely. Would, would of course be better if it was still kind of hot. Right. But <laughs> it's cold out. We, we always love biscuit. <laughs> Prefer it when it's fattier, but delicious. So overall, what would you give? What would you give these two? Two thumbs or just one thumb? Uh, at least three of both. <laughs> um, I do like how the chips are still nice and crispy. But the chew's a favorite. Oh yeah, the chips are crispy and tasty. Um, I would, I would, I like the brisket chips a little bit more than the bison slider. I like the sauce that was on the bison slider. It was, it was kind of a nice sweetness to it. Yeah, the bacon and onion jam was the main part, the main good part about the bison slider. Got an art exhibit going on here. Meet the artist. Got an albino peacock right here. It's beautiful. Hi. The Fontina cheese meatballs. Yeah, we'll probably we'll probably hoist over this. Mm, pretty good. So definitely, you've made better ones. It's kind of hard to cut with a fork. <laughs> we should have got a knife. Just pop the whole ball in your mouth. It's good. I mean, I think I've had better, but it's it's, it's good. Um, Where's the cheese? Maybe it's mixed in? I guess. They're okay. They're, they got some spicy flavor to them. Not spicy hot, but like Italian spices. I almost think I did taste the cheese that time. Basically, I have said I don't. They were good, but I don't know that I would use another lunch for that. For the meatballs. They were okay. If you like meatballs, you're in the mood for meatballs and you want a meatball. They're good. Get a meatball. But as far as if you would rather try something, if you know what meatballs taste like, it was a typical meatball. Oh yeah, so at the Yingling Pavilion where we got the meatballs, we were both going to have a, a beer. And I guess the cashier was underage. Yeah. Said she couldn't bring us up for beer. So that kind of sucks. <laughs> so I mean, that happened even though it's the Yingling Station. Yeah, station. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, if they could put a cashier that's not underage, because us beer drinkers was really looking forward to that. Oh well. Oh well, that's See you later. later. <laughs> So 
we decided to go to the hog heaven, but they were out of the bougie bacon, so we got the Korean short rib, and we're gonna try the pineapple express. All right, here's Jeffrey trying the Korean short rib. Good? Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's delicious. It's all meat. Finger looking good, huh? I was hesitant to lick my fingers, but then I did it anyway. Yeah, this is tasty. Very nice sauce on it. It is delicious. Alrighty, so I think I'm going to give the Korean short ribs, the Korean barbecue ribs. I'm going to give it two thumbs up. He's got two sticky thumbs right now, so he can't put them up. But I'm saying five. <laughs> so five fingers up. Pretty good. So that's definitely worth worth the punch. We also decided to get the Pineapple Express, which we haven't tried yet, so cheers. Not bad. It's kinda, you definitely taste the mint in it. It's pretty good though. And I think I taste the honey too. <laughs> <laughs> the kids area uh, we were right by the Sesame Street merch shop some of y'all might be interested in that but we're not going in because we don't have kids so we're gonna keep on walking but as you can see it's a pretty busy day out here today oh yes much fun for the kiddos <laughs> Hi. Look, he's looking. He is. Aww. You think they go? Oh, there you go. Often called Tommy's for short, Thompson's gazelles, the most common type of gazelle in Eastern Africa. Common target for cheetahs and wild dogs. Extremely fast and agile. Tommies can reach speeds of 50 to 40 to 50 miles per hour. They also pronk and stop. It's common in jumping and running confused predators as they escape. Look, and it's so pretty. It Supposedly, it's haunted. What? Yes, I need to look up stories. But supposedly, it's haunted. Look, and we are going to. We're going to the giraffe bar. <laughs> We're about to try all these delicious beers. We got the feet wine, Raging Eagle, your my blue boy blue, and this one is Passion of the Pikes. The feet wine, it's, it's good. Fish overtones. Yeah, it's very light. 
This one is Beijing Eagle. Have some, some kind of like passion fruit or something? Something. It's good. Raging Eagle. This is your My Boy Blue. You're my boy Blue from uh, Tongue Took My Tongue. What's that movie? I don't know, now that you say that, it does sound familiar. That Will Smith movie. Oh! This is almost like. Like something. Oh, yeah. What does that remind me of? This one's Passion of Heights. Mm -hmm. Not apple pie seasoning because it doesn't taste like apple pie, but I really like some kind of spice. That you would put in a pie. Cardamom or something like that. Not cinnamon, but something. Something like that. I don't know what it reminds me of. I don't All know right. what that reminds me of. So this one's the safari one, and it has. I wonder if it has passion fruit in it. Passion fruit. Wait. So this I'm one has. Like fancy pet. Fancy papers. Cool. Um, I think this one's the old elephant foot, and I know we already like that. Yeah. Um, this one's pulp friction, and this one is the wave, the wave maker. I know old elephant foot, we're going to love. <laughs> wave maker. And it's so nice to be able to look up there and see the giraffes. I couldn't help but think that seems kind of watered down. First. Yeah, it doesn't really have much flavor as compared to this last one that we tasted. Maybe that's the problem. We Maybe that's why they call it Wave Maker. Maybe we should have sipped a little water in between because this one was so seasoned that taking that one. It's kind of based, but there's a little baby giraffe how to running it. around over there with its mama. Oh. Cute. When do you we'll have a telescope next. lens? Yeah, yeah we go on the train. That one's fancy papers. Fancy papers. So was this the IPAs? Um, so I think I think I remember at Animal Kingdom they said the old elephant foot was IPAs. I think it is. Let's see. More, I'm more. I mean, the wave maker doesn't remind me of IPA. Uh, it doesn't really say on here. It doesn't say on here. Those don't remind me of wheat. She said one was wheat. One that's of the sweet. ones I had, yeah. That's wheat. We should just look up the. Um, fancy papers. I like it. Um, it's, it's like a blonde that IPA. That reminds me of them. Or yeah, a little bit. Alright. Uh, friction. Hope friction. That kind of seems to have some kind of grapefruit in it. Oh, okay. I didn't think of that. <laughs> and then we know we're going to love all the other all the elephant foot. Yeah. Oh, we're so, calling it old elephant foot, but she's got her old elephant, but maybe there's no foot. It did, did say foot on there, didn't it? Does it? Yeah. Yeah, it is old elephant foot. So we had... It was a hot summer in, in day. In case it wasn't picking us up from far away without projecting. <laughs> That's two, two years ago. Yeah, two years two. ago. Two years ago, we went to El Animal Kingdom, and we got kind of drunk, and it was fun. <laughs> and one of the beers that we especially enjoyed was Elephant Foot, or the Old Elephant, elephant Foot. Yeah. So we know we're going to like it. That bartender made it sound like it was only at Disney. 
Yeah. For some reason. Here it is at Bush Gardens. Yeah, yeah and, and I think garden. I think you can buy it at some some shops, I guess. Mm, that's good. Well. So, yeah, I guess so at this point. And then we can just finish good it. chug. Okay, so our top four of the eight. Old elephant butt. You're my boy, Blue. Definitely Raging Eagle. Um, Pulp Friction, I think, is one of my favorites. Top four of the eight. It's hard to decide. Yeah, at that point. They are kind of merging together. A bunch of them have citrus overtones. Um, Old Elephant Foot is maybe the most IPA, or at least citrusy, oh. kind of. And that year, my boy Blue is pretty good. It's pretty good. Anywho, just an update. I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> After those eight sample size beers and not seven really, to eight ounces or yeah, something not like really that. Yeah, not really much today. We're feeling pretty good, honestly. I don't know that we should share this on our third party. <laughs> That's alright. We're not, we're not that drunk. Just a little bit. Look, we ain't driving anytime soon. We're going to go hop on this train, hopefully, and uh, see the park. I love the train. The train's one of my favorite things. We're going to have another pretzel Ooh. or something. We are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not to be. We're gonna sit here a minute, honestly. And look at these beautiful giraffes. They're over here eating, and it's so beautiful. And they're just babies. So baby. Definitely old elephant, but definitely um, you're my boy. Unless too. we got it mixed up. I didn't really like pulp friction. I thought I did it yeah, first. It, was it a seemed too, too grapefruit or citrusy, something. Too something. citrusy. I did really like the Raging Eagle one. You're my boy, Blue. Pulp Fiction, the movie, pretty good and iconic. Pulp Friction, the IPA. Mm. No. Well, compared to the rest that it's with, if you were drinking it by itself, maybe, but after. And two fancy papers, it was pretty good. I don't know if it, Fancy it, Papers was good. It was pretty fruity and good. Um, Wave Maker was alright. And, and Raging Eagle. Raging, Raging Eagle was beautiful. is one of the best ones to get over yeah, here. One of the best good. craft beers. And then, of course, like we said, You're My Boy Blue. Oh, yeah. My you're, boy Blue. you're My Boy Blue was also maybe around the third favorite, something like that. Yeah. One of the best. I liked it. Should we have You're done? my boy, Blue. <laughs>